Do you remember that time when I reviewed that 50 minute long version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Probably not, because YouTube just wants everybody to forget it. Yeah, that cartoon was so weird. They gave the story an alternate plot to pad a six minute story to nearly ten times the length. You have to be a masochist to sit through that. Fortunate enough for me, I suppose, I happen to be one of those types of people. But what I have here is another example of what is a six minute cartoon short fleshed out to 50 minutes. Who on God's green earth would think this is a good idea? Damn! Are you for real with this? Burbank is behind this whole thing? Last month I get a radically inappropriate Jekyll and Hyde cartoon. Now I'm gonna get the Goldilocks treatment with the three little pigs. Man, talk about one step forward and two steps back. <sighs> well, the longer I wait, the more painful this is going to be. Oh, let's just rip the band-aid off now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This? This is our title card? Good God Almighty, just look at it! I got Wario's Bastard Son, Larry Finds Otherkin, which is ironic on 50 levels, and Earl the Town Drunk. Ten seconds in and I can already tell Burbank quit before they started. Ah, majestic downtown Crookston, Minnesota. Whee! So, is the bed snoring? And, let me guess, the pigs are dead. Whee! I wonder why synchronized snoring never made it to the Olympics. Whee! Shut the fuck up! Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Marco. Orko? Times have been rough since He-Man. Now, my boys, I must talk to you while you eat your porridge. I wonder what bacon tastes like. Here's some money, but be very careful. This is all we can afford. <laughs> oh no! You can't mix pigs and money! Is this going to become some sort of financial parable? And remember, don't spend too much, uh, uh too much, uh, uh, money! And you trust your brain-dead boys because... Oh, I wish I could buy this! Mama said that we don't have much money. You're right, but at least let me pretend! If you want to do that, just start an Instagram account. My lazy eye smells money. And remember, uh, what? Our mama is tired and sick, and these eight pennies is all the money we've got. Eight pennies? You can't even afford penny candy with that much money nowadays. What kind of feast are you planning? One full of belly lint and chronic depression? Looky here, Frank, my boy. A chicken ripe for the plucking. Uh, uh, it's a pig, boss. I know it's a pig, you idiot. Oh, great. Multiple idiot characters. I think I know where the padding will come into effect. This is your lucky day. Oh, I, I don't know about that. Um, um, it might be my lucky day, and then again, it, it might not. Oh, look out now. This pig is existential. Somebody notify Velociraptor. Swollen throat, congested ears, fractured trotter, dry nose. See what you get with Obamacare? Quack doctors pork barreling patients. Of course you do. It's your mama that's sick, isn't it? I, I how? I mean, you what? She's sick and she's very tired. Of raising you three twits, she should use contraceptives. The ordinary magic cure all elixir costs two pennies, but the special pig magic cure all elixir costs eight pennies. Is he trying to sound like Jack Nicholson inhaled helium? <laughs> Don't you want to make your mama feel better? Sure. Let's just add an awful Peter Lorre impersonation. I mean, if the voice acting is this bad, we might as well just go all the way with it. And, and 
you know what will make your mama feel better, don't you? My brothers and I moved out of her basement. Ooh, fresh Flint, Michigan water. Tasty. Presto, Dr. BB Wolf's Magic Cure All Pig Elixir. Dude, are you even trying to pull a con job? Or did you just invent dream flavored Coca Cola? I told you this was your lucky day, I pig. Am. Don't you want your mama to get better? Well, well yes, I. Uh, good. Whoa. A teaspoon after every meal, and your mama will be as good as new. I think the animation skipped a few frames. Not like anybody who worked on this cared. I found all the food we need for just six pennies. That leaves two pennies over. Mama will be pleased. I bet your mother still curses her senior prom night with your father. Where are the eight pennies? Uh, that's what the medicine cost. Uh, eight pennies. What? This bottle is going straight up your pork rind, bucko. Oh, it's Mr. Grizzle Bear. Is the bear some kind of pimp? Where's my rent money? More importantly, are you gonna fix that door you just broke down? Because if not, I'm gonna get on the phone right now with a good tenant lawyer. One month's rent, six pennies. <laughs> Rent's gone up, as of last month. I say again, is there any documentation of this? Because if not, I'm gonna see your grizzly ass in court, fur face. You couldn't have spent all the money on food. Give me two pennies from my purse and we'll be saved. Sorry, Ma. All we have is this uber expensive balsamic vinegar. Mm, let me see that. Dr. B. B. Wolf's magic cure all elixir. Hmm. Maybe this'll cure my stomach ache. Maybe it'll cure you of being an asshole. And I want next month's rent tomorrow. Eight pennies. Or out she go. <laughs> Dude, what is your encore? Do you just set the roof on fire while simultaneously shitting in the yard? I will go and live with my sister, your Aunt Baconia. But Aunt Baconia has six piglets. Which is why you cannot come with me. You're all now homeless. Enjoy life on the street, fuckers. You now have hair on your chinny chin chins. This means you're all old enough to make your own way in the world. They're fucked. Where will we go? Uh, what will we build? This is up to you to decide, and you will decide well. Your death will not be my responsibility. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mama. Uh, so, so, so long, Mom. Oh, thank God. Damn it! Looky here, Frank, my boy. Three chickens right for the pluck. Uh, uh, boss, they're pigs, not... <laughs> I know that, you idiot. The writers ran out of ideas, so we're doing this bit again. I look like a wolf, I act like a wolf, I even smell like a wolf. But I am a fox. Seems legit. You really are selling some land? <laughs> I always knew Waluigi was a furry. What a piece of luck! Mama will be pleased! Maybe I met him in the park, or maybe it was the river. Or maybe it was the strip club. You didn't recognize this pristine shit across the road? You're both blind and stupid! Thank you, Edward! I know. Uh, I met you at the county fair. I wish you met at the slaughterhouse. Sold? This land? Uh, but you don't own it. Eh, uh, well, I wonder who does own it. Probably Elon Musk. I mean, he's so rich, he probably has 43 pennies in his pocket right now. He does. Keep off. <laughs> Property of Mr. Grizzle Bear. Where do you see all those extra words, dude? We all go our separate ways and each find the right thing to build a house from. Agreed? Agreed! Uh, I, I suppose so. I am 17 and a half minutes into this movie and we're finally getting to the start of the Three Little Pigs story. I have to really examine my life choices because I still have half an hour of this movie to go! Oh my god! <laughs> Now where am I going to find some straw? How poorly written of you, cartoon. You wanna build a house out of straw? 
Do you think I could build a straw house like this? Well, if you bought some straw from me, you could. Tom Nook could learn a thing or two from this guy. Who deliver that load of straw to Mrs. Rabbit for me? And you can take as much straw as you can carry for just one penny. Is every animal in this cartoon a con artist or asshat? Here's your straw. Why, thank you very much, my good pig. She's not a real rabbit. We're her eight dozen children. Oh. oh, I fell and turned into a triple. Building strong. Ooh, I don't know about that. All of those have to go down to Mr. Sheep. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! There's your... few... carrots. Um... Pigs don't sweat. That's why they wallow in the mud. They're very expensive, that lake land. Well, we got it for three pennies. What? Well, that just straightens my horns. You said... I said, as much straw as you could carry. I didn't mention my wheelbarrow. They're called context clues, son. Start investing in them. For the love of your pork and savior, please stop! You forgot somewhere! Up your fat ass! More straw! <laughs> straw houses are a stupid idea! Is this foreshadowing or the admission of your own stupidity? The straw house for pigs to live in, and I'll do it by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Do it by the hair! Green Jello sang it better. Frank, my boy, I'm gonna have some fun. You already took all of their money. What are you going to do? Commit arson to Larry Fine's house and then eat his charred remains? Quick! Inside the straw house! Who needs ADT when you have a straw barricade? Little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin! We are now halfway through this movie, and we are just arriving at the first main plot point of the original story. Did Burbank model their script writing after Tolstoy? <laughs> Damn, Michael Phelps, check out the lungs on you! Whoa, uh, maybe I should think about a short vacation, too. I was not aware that the pigs were part Tasmanian devil. Oh, what shall I build my house from? This little house on the sticks. You see, pig? Sticks make the best home. Yes, I, I see what you mean. Uh, building with sticks looks very easy. This dolt would fuck up using Lincoln Logs. We have no use for a penny, young Joe. What I do need is some forest fruits from a children, Barry and Bertha. Your children are ugly and nude! Fix it! Oh dear, pigs can't climb trees. <gasps> oh well. Yeah. boy, embrace the impossibly stupid. <laughs> this is why all Sonic fans are hedgehogs, because that shit don't happen. Oh, it's a long story. To rhyme me. Well, my mama wasn't feeling- Sorry I asked. If you give me the penny, I will fly to the tops of the trees and gather all the forest fruits you need. Not sure what a bird needs money for. Unless that fuckstick of a bear owns all the birdhouses too. Because this makes perfect sense. Thank you, girl. Yum, yum. Thank you very much. Thank you, girl. Now, uh, should this stick go here or, 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 or here? Oh, oh dear, oh me. Holy jeebus, that almost looks competent. How did Dimbob, king of the dipshits, learn to frame a house somewhat nicely? Hello, Barry. Hello, Bertha. Ow, 
Your mom said we should help you with your house. Okay, but could you put on clothes so we don't have any OSHA violations? Yeah, I mean the, the, the lake in the dam. Oh, we did. Come on, Bobby. Let's do it. Let's not say we did. It's the stupid pig we sold the elixir to. <laughs> nice house. Sticks. I like that. Frank! Is this Mystery Science Theater now? It, it's a little thing we like to call cave dwellers. Frank! Let him finish it first. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Miss Robin. Did we really just fade out and into the exact same shot? Man, even Dingo wasn't this lazy! Marco, uh, what, what's the matter? Y you look terrible. Talk about the pot and the kettle. Here we go again. Yeah, those are my thoughts too. Let me come in. He said that to me. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I said that too. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ah yes, screen shake. The mark of quality animation. All this huffing and puffing is making me very hungry. Yeah, me too, boss. Really? You look like you had murderous intent for both pig houses. Complete with drooling! Here, Mr. Moe, let me help you. Oh, why, thank you, my young pig. I was getting rather tired. It happens when you roll your best friend around. Now I'm clearing my field of all these stones. Yes, but why? Mm -hmm. This! It's a potato! You might want to update your prescription because that's a big rabbit turd. And you know what happens when you try to eat a stone? No! What? You cannot be this clinically stupid. I say, Mr. Pig, would you like some help? Holy shit, aliens! My friends and I would like to help you. Thank you very much. We could certainly use a hand. No? Looks like Dennis the Menace wants to help, too. Quick! Quick! Help! 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 Ooh! Gripping drama! They're strong. They last forever. Stones. When you wait for a waiter, you become a waiter. An excellent thought, George. Excellent. Jolly good idea, Pig. That'll do, Pig. Where are we taking these stones? Down by the lake. That's a road, you moron. Not for us. We bought it for three pennies. Three pennies? Oh, I'm coming, Elizabeth. Mm, not Grizzle Bear. Hmm. In fact, I haven't even seen Mr. Grizzle Bear for nearly a week now. You were contemplating what kind of building materials to use for a week? Yeah, the rocks are a good choice for you because they match what's inside your head. Well, he drank a bottle of elixir and it gave him a terrible pain in the tummy. I call that karma. You can build a house that looks this nice and yet you're still living in your mother's basement? What the hell were you doing? Not to sound picky, but where's the mortar? No, Mr. Mo, I insist that you have this penny for your stones. Oh, gross, a piggy pubic penny. Have you no decency, hog? Time for some escargot. Knock, knock. Marco. Joe! Welcome to my mausoleum. Seen who? Uh, the, you know, he, he's big and he's bad. You know, uh, what's he called again? The Big Bad Honey Badger because he don't care. I like it. It's strong, it's solid, and I just love the chimney. What are you, an architecture critic? Actually, he is. And I'm insanely jealous of his subscriber count.
Roast pork? Oh, yes! Can we? Can we? Can we? Dude, take your medication! And then, he just blew the whole straw house over! And he did the same with my, my house of sticks. Amazing that you didn't see each other during the building of your houses. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! And we said that too! They said that last time too. Stop it. Get some help. Is he somehow related to Kirby? Okay, that is a medical condition and you need to seek help right now. I think we're gonna be alright. Stone is stronger than straw. And sticks. Brilliant! Brilliant! If I can't blow their house down, I'll go down myself. <laughs> Should have thought of this before. It's easier than all that huffing, puffing. It's a little early for Christmas, stupid. It's dark. What's going on? Get off me! Ow! Well, that's just rude. What are you three pigs doing on my land? B -b but we bought it. You didn't buy it from me. Ah, he looks full of vim and vigor. I guess the elixir worked. Magic elixir? Yeah. The one I took from your, I mean, the one your mother gave to me. I drank the whole bottle, and it put me in hospital for a week. So you drank a heroic dose of stupid, and had shits for a week. Congratulations. And would anything include this fine piece of lakeside land? If you give me what I want, you can have it all. Hot damn, how deus ex medicina of you. <laughs> Well, they're fucked. Again. That's exactly what the Three Pig story needed. My boys, you are so clever. And all our friends have come to live with us. This is more depressing than happy. Frank the Stoat and the Big Bad Idiot uh, and the Big Bad Idiot. Whoa! <laughs> I guess you can call that an ending joke? <sighs> so, that was the overly complicated, overextended, 50-minute rendition of the Three Little Pigs nobody ever asked for. Now, I could easily rant and rave about its terrible animation and god-awful voice acting, but I'm not going to do that, because in comparison to Goldilocks and the Three Bears, this is a fucking masterpiece. But, when you put it next to Jekyll and Hyde, it just pales in comparison. Obviously, that was Burbank's mountaintop. And then they slid downhill for the next two decades. Like a depressing amount of downhill sliding. But I will give the movie this. If you suffer from insomnia, put this fucker in and in five minutes you're out like a light. Take that free medical advice from me, if you will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have my own bricks that I gotta go lay. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. How come King Shits can't Oh, let's just rip the band-aid off now. It's almost like I really intended to break that. Gripping drama! <coughs> <coughs> Oh God! Mm. I hate those ticks. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't think my microphone will pick that up. 
Although it would be hilarious if it did. Busting that hot waz.